This video demonstrates basic functionalities of Hybrid Network Manager, an intelligent backhaul node that were developed within the European project SANSA. They represent key enabling components that allow a backhaul network to be self-organized and so it can react on network problems experienced at the physical layer. Performance of these two components is demonstrated by an emulation setup that is inspired by a backhaul network topology realized in Helsinki by high-directional antennas. In our emulation setup, we have selected six base stations from the Helsinki database. The black lines in the right figure represent the existing backhaul links. The topology of this original backhaul network is not flexible. The backhaul links are established by means of high-directional fixed antennas. It means if a link is contrasted or has a failure, the whole network suffers from these network problems. The red lines illustrate other possible links that can be established if the backhaul nodes are equipped with antenna arrays that can electronically steer beams to different directions so that the network topology can be changed. The blue lines illustrate satellite links that can be established additionally to the terrestrial backhaul links. In the emulation, we have imposed constraints on the number of simultaneous beams that the antenna arrays can create. The number of simultaneous beams is indicated behind the number of the backhaul node in the brackets. For example, backhaul node number 10 is referred to as BS10, can simultaneously communicate with two other neighboring backhaul nodes. All terrestrial backhaul links were emulated at the network layer using a VLAN switch, uh, and the satellite backhaul link was emulated at the physical layer using satellite modems in back-to-back -back connection. The backhaul node number 8 was assumed to be directly connected with Internet by a cabled connection. It also hosted a hybrid network manager and EPC. To be able to emulate various network access patterns, three backhaul nodes were integrated with access points. One access point was an LTE base station that was situated outdoors. The second access point was a Wi-Fi hotspot situated in an anechoic chamber in order not to collide with Wi-Fi working within our testing facilities. The third access point was a direct Ethernet connection representing a wireless local loop. These backhaul nodes represent the only access points that could be used for generation of the traffic within our emulated backhaul network. The goal of intelligent backhaul now is to detect and identify network problems such as a congested link or a link failure and to notify hybrid network manager about it. The role of the hybrid network manager is to propose a network topology that resolves these network problems and improves so the network capacity, latency and so on. Both Intelligent Backhaul Node and Hybrid Network Manager are realized as virtual machines running at the Linux operating system. The IP plan of all Intelligent Backhaul Nodes as well as the IP address of the video server at the Intelligent Backhaul Node number 9 that provides a video stream which is to be transferred to the client accessing the Backhaul Network over LTE Outdoor Macro Cell at the Intelligent Backhaul Node number 15. The four, first step in the storyboard is to show how H&M will set the topology of the backhaul network. When all the links of the network are, are functional, we can see three windows on the monitor. The first one, this here, is showing a topology, current topology of the backhaul network. The second window is related to H&M. We can see later when I started uh, what are the cost of each uh, topology that is set. And here we have a window that will be used to show trace route when I want to reach a certain node. So I will now start the H&M. The H&M will compute uh, topology according to the cost of available links. Here we can see the cost of current topology and uh, the H&M is optimizing trying to reach the smallest cost. 
when we look into this figure, we can see the current topology, which is set by H&M, and after some time, uh, the topology with the smallest cost will be selected. For example, now we have a topology that is probably the final one, and we can now try to reach from no number 15, where we have LTE cell, no number 9, where there is a video server. If I run the trace route, then we can see that we are going to node number 13, 10, 8, and 9, and then we go to video server. If I look into the topology, then we have really connection to 13, 10, 8, and 9 to the video server. Now the step, second step in the storyboard is to make a link failure. So we obstruct a link, for example, between 13 and 15. So this is this link. We set it as obstructed. And H&M will now decide again about a new topology. We can see here in the figure that this link is not available anymore. That's why it is with dashed line. In the upcoming part, we demonstrate how the hybrid network manager solves the link failure. And the new topology is connecting node number 15 with node number 8, 13, 10 and 9, where is again our video server. The trace route is shown here, and here we can see that we are going really to the node number 8, 13, 10, 9 and a video server. Here we can see how the video quality looks like. The video is coming from the video server. Uh, here we can see also the throughput of the link, the video bitrate. It is now about 2000 uh, kilobits per second. And now we will try uh, to congest the link and to see how the video quality will uh, improve after H&M reacts. Now we demonstrate a link congestion. The user is accessing the backhaul network over Wi-Fi. So now we have a congested link. Uh, through Wi-Fi we are sending uh, packets uh, using iPerf. And here we can see how the video quality is much worse. We can see it also in the bitrate that is now about uh, 100 uh, kilobits per second. And now we will try to uh, use H&M to solve the situation. Now I'm at a PC that was used to congest the terrestrial links. Uh, it is connected uh, through Wi-Fi to the node number 9 and here I was running trace route we can see when the link was not congested then the data that was uh, tr uh, transmitted using hyper were going through multiple hops uh, towards the node number 8 uh, which is connected directly to the internet and after congestion uh, the H&M decided to use satellite link, that's why we can see just one hop directly over uh, satellite uh, to the uh, node number 8. We can see also uh, the latency that was uh, increased when we used a satellite link in comparison to latency times when the data is uh, going through the terrestrial link. So now H&M proposed a solution. We can see that the throughput is uh, higher. It is again about 2000 uh, kilobits per second. And it is uh, done in such a way that H&M decided to take satellite link and to use it for data offloading. 